Hello everyone, Gozabook here today playing some Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 for the Xbox One. So today we're fixing up this Tempest Magnum Flat Face Proto. So today's episode is just going to be stripping it down and rebinding all the parts as we go. So that's the engine, the suspension, everything that is pretty much important for this vehicle. So we can first start off by doing the tyres. So let's get rid of these. So basically everything on this car is going to be, uh, going to be replaced except for the body panels. The body panels are the one thing that won't get replaced on this car unless they're way too rusted, which they're not. Tomorrow's episode will be a Chieftain Bandit, which is this vehicle right here. The Chieftain Bandit, and then the day after, it will be this Mazda RX-7. And then we have a barn to go to, and uh, should be, hopefully, some good vehicles that we can do for videos. <coughs> so, we don't need to get the, the wheels yet. Actually, no, we may as well. We may as well get the wheels now, right? So let's see, 215, 75, 14. I hate doing this. Uh, tires, vintage tire B, I believe. I don't really care. Uh, vintage tire. No, let's do this. And I can't remember. I hate. I hate trying to do this. It's the worst. So two fifteen seventy five fourteen. Right. That should be easy to remember. So fourteen two fifteen and the profile seventy five. I hope that's right. If not, I'm gonna oof myself. Uh, okay, what wheels are we using for this? I don't know. Uh, oh wait, wait, it says that right there. Rim Retro 7. Okay. Let's get the Rim Retro 7s. Ah, uh, Masters. Uh, Retro, there we go. 2, 3, 4... 7. That's... I think, yeah, it's these ones. Uh, size 14 or 0 ET. I don't know what the ET means. Someone can tell me that in the comments. And if we install these. So basically, just right now, they get the wheels installed. Because that'll save us some time later. And then we go to the wheel balancer. <clears throat> this is pretty simple. This is... One of the easiest parts of restoring a vehicle because let's just take all this out and then you know all the other stuff. Uh, but this this video is just going to be for um, it's just where we take everything out and tomorrow's episode will be where we restore everything, including the engine. So everything will get restored tomorrow. Don't worry about that. And I believe you guys hang out on such a great car that could be worth so much money. The, the condition of it is real good, like, it's surprisingly good. And then, two more wheels to balance, okay. But, I mean, if you have a look at that, frame condition 19 and interior is 82. Overall is 83% because I'm taking off all the parts. It's good to know. Hey, hey, Mickey. I stream, well, I'm going to try to start streaming every day on Mixer. Uh, my username is Purple and Galant. I'll put it in the description. How's your day, Mickey? I got lucky on an RX-7 yesterday, but the recording got corrupted. So I was able to buy these free cars to do videos on. It's not too bad, just been up for a few hours and getting the grind on. As you can see. So, just all break pieces here. So was that the shoe and the drum? Yeah, I think it was. So my tactic is when we do this, um, I get two drums and two shoes, two cylinders, because then after I do this, I go to the other side and I just take that off, because it can save a lot of time, trust me. Doing it like this saves tons of time. See you, Moose, I follow you. 
Okay, what was that? Rear drive axles? Okay. And then this one. So that's two solid rear drive axles. And then we open up our tablet. And then we search in solid. And then boom. To rear drive axles. It's the easiest way to rebuild uh, vehicles in this game. Just buy the parts when you take them off, that way you don't miss anything. And then two wheel hubs and two housings, okay. So rear axle and upper housing, okay. And I believe it was wheel hub four. And then uh, so just put we a <laughs> wee okay, wheel hub four, two I it was the knuckle housing next. Uh, I don't know which one it was. So let's have a look. What knuckle housing was you? B. Okay. Easy enough. And X will be. Boom. <clears throat> this is going pretty well so far. I don't need to mount anything. Uh, okay, so we need. Four. I hate the leaf springs. They're so annoying. But let's take these off. Right, so if I just search up leaf, I'll be able to get everything I need, which is the good thing. So leaf. So I need two, two of those, two of those, four of those. And a quick tip for this game. If you're going to be doing stuff like this, Buy rubber bearings in bulk, you, uh, not bearings, bushings. You're gonna need them so much. Uh, for a Dodge, I'll buy a V8 motor. This is a, um, I don't know what car this is. It's a Daytona, though. It's a Daytona Mustang. It's a, okay, yeah, it's got a V8. I don't know what type of V8. It's an OHV, uh, something. And why did I just, why did I, okay, you know what, it's whatever. So, and the front. <coughs> brake disc, brake pad, and a ventilated wheel. Um, okay. So, just got some brakes. So, two U's, two U, two U, and two of U. And go to the other side. And then do the exact same thing. One. And then, so what? Uh, front axle and knuckle cover. So we need a lot of stuff here. This is the part you need to buy everything immediately. So wheel hub bearings. So if I just search up bearings, I'll be able to see what I need. Uh, wheel hub bearing. That, and then I need the cap. Wheel hub cap. Boom. Uh, did I buy two of the... I don't know. I'll see if I did buy two bearings. Oh, okay, I did. Good. Back to unmounting. Uh, Xbox or PC? This is the Xbox One. It came out... I don't know when it came out, but I, I saw it a few days ago and I've been addicted to this game. <laughs> it's been really fun just playing this. Okay, so the wheel hub and the knuckle cover. Alright. Uh, so if I just search in we, so let's see, wheel hub, uh, I think it would be this one, right? Maybe, um, and the knuckle cover. Front axle knuckle cover times two, there we go. And then we'll focus on the steering knuckles in a few minutes. <coughs> So, I don't know if I should do the steering knuckles now, because it depends, like, what do I need to do to take the transmission out, because I'll just rip the engine out. And once I can rip the engine out, everyone will be happy, or at least I will. Uh, engine, uh, not engine, transmission. We need to take off the drive shaft, obvious, obviously. So, what, just the starter and that's it? Starter and drive shaft. Thanks, Mickey, for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, my YouTube is Glazovox, spelled G-L-A-V-O-L-K. This is the first video that's going to get uploaded so far right now. Honda. What about Hondas? Okay, that's the clutch. 
I don't know what I just took out. Uh, let's see. So many pieces already. Gearbox, Drive Shop, and the Starter. <laughs> yeah, I just want this too. The, um, the new 2018 Civics are gorgeous. Well, they're not new, but they're just still good. Uh, I did not need to open my inventory. <clears throat> so we've got a starter now. So a starter V8, right? Should be. And then it's the drive shaft. And then it's the gearbox for the V8. OHV something, blah blah blah, I don't know. Uh, where is it? I think it's that one, or it's the F. Uh, okay, I'm gonna look real quick. Uh, yeah, it was a V8 starter, good. Uh, OHVF. Okay, then. And um, $1,800 is expensive, but it's a gearbox in it. Uh, oh, yeah, the Type R. I like the Type R's, they're not bad. They're pretty good. The Civics, Civics are alright, depends which one. Uh, okay, let's see the suspensions, why not? <clears throat> So that is the upper suspension, upper suspension, and um, that's the rear one. And then rubber bushings, full, and then it is, and what was the other piece? It was the tie rods, yes, tie rods. Switching tie, and then tie rod, tie rod. <coughs> And then we take these out, and since we already bought the pieces, we won't need to worry about buying them. This is probably going to be a longer episode anyways, because dismantling is way, way harder than actually uh, putting the pieces on. And I did not mean to go into part mode, into part assemble mode. Inner tie rod, boom. And then the upper suspension, um, there we go. Uh, I need to do the bomb suspension arms, or I need to do the wishbone. Uh, do we have a Honda in this game? I'm not too sure. I think we do. I, I, I think there's a Honda, like a type of Honda, it looks like one. Not too sure about it. Sway bar, front end, blink, and B. And then over here, did, why do I keep going into part, man? I'm not assembling it today. <clears throat> okay, so that's the sway bar with these. So, if you're new to the game, a quick tip is just searching the keyword, as you see, I put an SWA and you get most sway bar pieces. Uh, you know what, we'll also need the rear render links. And um, what sway bar are we using for this car? Rear, uh, front, okay. Sway bar B. It's really easy, but it's easy to get wrong. And now we need to get the um, a whole new suspension wishbone. I keep going as a part now. Why do I keep doing that? Alright. So what do these little things consist of? They consist of front absorbers. Okay. So we just head over to suspension. Uh, it's these front shock absorber A, front spring, front cap. And then we'll get these assembled right now. I have no clue where my puller is. Please help me, I know boss that there is. Uh, join. Uh, this car right here, I didn't need to do that. Uh, this car right here, Roadmaster, it's part of the storyline. And I guess if I ever run out of vehicles to buy in barn finds, I'll just work on story vehicles. Because they're annoying. Alright, uh, this car, look. The amount of issues in story mode cars, you may as well just replace the thing. May as well. I, mean, I can't remember which story, which story order this is, but this guy comes back a few times. This is his second time. Uh, okay, so I did that, and then steering knock, okay. Bottom suspension arm, so I need two, four more bushings and that arm. <coughs> Bottom suspension and um, two, and then just put in. I did, why did I put in two hours by accident? And then four rubber bushings. And then steering knuckle C. So 
So front steering knuckles C. Alright, see you Mickey. Uh, make sure you try and tune into the streams every day. I'm not sure what time, but I'll try and make them as consistent as possible. And I don't know what you're giving me, but I appreciate it, man. Appreciate the support so far. And then steering rack. Oh no, it's right there! It was literally right. Okay, I'm. Okay. I am a stupid. And then this cross member, I'll have to. Wait, oh, I can deal with the cross member now, actually. That's good news. So I need four bushings and cross member D. So again, just search up Rob. And then, boom. Now, if anyone needs any tips, then I will make a video on them. Uh, on tips and stuff. Little tips and tricks I have found in my two-ish days of experience playing this game. But, so far it's just been relaxed. There's no time limit for anything. You can just sit back and have fun dismantling vehicles. And it's the best thing, honestly. It feels so good when you sell a Mazda for $90,000. Because I sold one yesterday and I got 90 grand off it and we've got a spare one so that could be another 90 grand tomorrow. Actually no, I'm doing the chief tomorrow, aren't I? <clears throat> and then the cross my D. And then we just gotta do the exhaust pipe, simple enough. So if we just search in uh, exhaust, actually no, there's already a section dedicated to this. But I... You know what, if I, wait, what engine is this, or at least the exhaust? Uh, the exhausts are, I don't even know where they are, probably at the bottom, yeah. Uh, V8OHV, so if I just search in V8OHV, I'll be able to easily find them. Uh, V-A-O-H-V. And that's a lot of parts, I did not expect it, okay. And there we go. And we need a muffler, clearly. Why, why does my controller do that? It's so annoying. Alright, mid or muffler. I believe, anyway, yes. Okay, thank God I was correct. <clears throat> and then rear muffler for a V8. And then, so if I just search in rear, I'll be able to find it. Uh, I think it's just the OHV, right? Yes, it is. Good. So, bang, and bang. Now we've got the spring axle. Right, well, I've already, I already bought those things. So I need four more rubber bushings now. And then, so, right, I need four of those. I already bought the, um, the leaf spring things. So I don't need to buy them. And then the least spring comes off, and then we can just... Oh, they're small bearings. Oh, <laughs> I should probably buy the small ones then. That would be a wise idea. To buy the correct bearing and not the wrong one. <clears throat> and then boom. Then this comes off. So rear shock absorber B. That is next. I was like, I'm just going to suspension and find that no problem. There we go. And then what is this? A leaf spring? Look at it, it's such a leaf and I'll find it. And then leaf, leaf spring, rear drive, axle. <coughs> and there we go. And I just need to do the fuel tank. So I just put in a few, <laughs> clearly. And then that. Now we can take this out. Oh, there, there it is, this one. So, about 20 ish minutes, I'm not too sure how long it's been. And we have the entire suspension out of this vehicle. And now if you lower this thing. And where is the engine crane? Here it is. Move equipment. I think it's one. I, it's the, I put it on the wrong one and I did, damn it. Um, move to cows two, please. <clears throat> Open up that hood, and then click on this thing, pull it out, 
Uh, oh, no, oh, wait, there's another exhaust section. I did not know that. Okay. I didn't see that. I am st I'm so stupid. Lift it back up. Yeah, this little thing right here. So the front exhaust section. There's only one? Okay. But still, I obviously need to buy two of them. Uh, front exhaust section. Front exhaust. Okay, here's all the exhaust sections. I think it's in one of those. Obviously, it can't be anything else. Uh, let's have a look. Then. So much pressing down on the D-pad. Oh, it's 3D. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so it is this one. I didn't think it was, but it was. Okay, and then once we pull the engine out, we can take out the radiator. Well, we can we can do that actually. Yeah, we might as well do it right now. Take out the radiator and the battery and get brand new ones. So radiator C, I think. I don't know. I just took it out and I can't remember. It was radiator C. Holy Jesus. And then it was the battery. Uh, let's see. It's amazing how a battery costs $170. Alright, that should be this and being ready to pull out. And then we get pulled out. Boom, look at that. Engine is gone. So if I move this back. <clears throat> but yeah, look at that. Engine is gone. Right, server, please. And if I go to the brakes, I'll just buy a new one. Break server. Uh, so that's the entire car stripped out apart from the body panels and the interior today. Now I sh I probably all right. Let's put the engine on here actually. Straight in here. Oh, I did, I haven't went into this tab, but I like the way it looks. Uh, I guess that's for a uh, for a new car. Eventually. All right, this thing. Look at all the issues. It's got issues. It's got them all. Does this like tell me how many issues are with the engine? It can install. Okay, it doesn't. That makes sense. I was hoping it would tell me. I like watch this. A hundred dollar fine because I didn't join the oil. Oh, okay. Wow. There's no oil. I liked that. So now we need an oil pan. Three, the eight. I think it's you. I didn't bother looking. I bought the wrong one. I waste money, apparently. Okay, I guess it should have been clear to me that it was bright goddamn orange. Like, I mean, like some plastic Nerf gun or something. Uh, that's been bought, though. I don't even feel like doing this engine block. So, we might do that tomorrow. And then... Put it back together and everything. Because there's, there's way too much engine to dismantle. There's way too much. And it's quarter. You know why it's quarter 12? Why the hell not? I mean, like, these engines, they're a big pain. Alright, if you're new to the game, stay away from these engines. They're too big, they're too complex. And the car I sold on was worth like 50k. Not even worth it. And I say it's not worth it. I have to do the exact same engine tomorrow. And I gotta do this tomorrow. I hate myself. But then we'll have a simple brewery, so everything will be fine. <clears throat> like, look how much, like, look how many pieces there are. Alright. So, ignition wires. Um, ignition wires. I would say it would be a V8 OHV, right? Uh, OHVD. It was. I'm smart. Let's buy those. I'm not. So, the distributor cap, can I... Can I please take it off? No? What's, what's stopping it? Probably things. I don't know what's stopping me from taking it off. So, you guys take a look. I know there's no oil in this thing. It's easy to know that there's no oil because I didn't get fined. Oh yeah, I can't even check it because there's no oil pan. Um, okay. 
engine head covers for a VAOGD. You know, I'm going to search VAOHVD and I'll be able to get all the pieces I need. OHVD. Uh, what? Okay, I guess nothing shows up. I need the head covers pronto. Uh, I know this thing's a two carb though. Like, uh, the ice shoulder anyway. I don't know which ice shoulder it was, so. <clears throat> and it was like those, um, those engine heads. Oh, I found them because they're bright freaking orange. Simple enough, right? And then, Jesus Christ. All these rock around. Okay, they, wait. Oh, they come off in one? Oh, that saves me so much time. Now let's get a rock around them. Uh, rocker arms for this. I need two of those. Why did I buy one? And then we go to the other side of the engine and we just take those off. So if you get a ban finding this game, make sure you use, take literally everything off. You want to repair all this. And then we got the evolved push rods. <clears throat> so if you're playing on Xbox and stuff, then these little things like these small little objects like spark plugs distributors and stuff. Anything that's tiny like these are a pain in the butt to get out. Uh, okay. So that was the push rod. I'll push rod for you. I think I'll just buy eight. It, I don't care. I know there's eight because it's a V8. I think so. I'm not even going to question it. I already know we're going to need that. Exhaust and manifold. So some parts will be missing. So let's buy one of them. Uh, oh, can you guys can you guys guess? Can you guess where it is? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's the bright orange one. Just maybe it is. Okay, and then we. Oh yeah. Also, buy spot plugs in bulk. They're hella cheap. So I'll just buy all these guys in bulk. Literally anything like bushings and spark plugs, just buy them in bulk. It's easy enough, right? So there's like, what, four on each side? So I only need eight. There's like ten. Ten of them only cost sixty dollars. So there's six dollars each. It's amazing. <clears throat> Alright, I think we should actually start with the engine in a second. Like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I, I also did need this one, didn't I? I'm an idiot. I thought, oh, I accidentally wasted one. No, I didn't. I need, I need to replace the entire engine. This one and this one. Uh, oh god. Actually, know what the timing belt looks pretty easy. This should be easy enough. Now this, this is what I hate. F the air filter on these things. So let's search up air filter or just air. It's this one. I only need one of them. And then there's like the weird cover and everything. Uh, I'm confused. Uh, what was it? It's literally a base for the literally the same one. So, uh, not one carbs. Where is the uh, filter? Uh, base even. I thought it was like six. Oh, there it is. I'm blind. I'm officially blind. So these are the carburetors. Carburetors C for V8, okay. I think they should be here, right? No. <clears throat> so, it's carburetors. This, no. I think it's this one. We need four of them. So we take off this base. I didn't need four, I just needed three. Well, it's better safe than sorry. Honestly, I wish there were real car, brand, uh, car brands. Like, there are some normal car brands, you know? But, like, all of them are mostly just, like, crappy off brands. I don't know what it just took off. It was the intake manifold. Alright, let's buy one of them. 
I mean, I'll, I'll be able to find it. It's, it's bright orange, you know. That's what I like about these so far, is it's bright orange. Oh, oh, wait, there's two. I know it's this one again. Like, if it's bright orange, which will also look for the only bright orange thing. Alright, the engine head. Uh, oh, an engine block? Wow. Engine heads. Not sure which one, though. So if we just look at this. Oh, it's really. So it's this one. Boom. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to take out these push rods. Uh, okay, it's that one. And that one. And this one. These little things are so annoying. Like, honestly, the most tedious thing you could actually possibly dismantle. I need more push rods though, because I need like eight more. This game. Uh, the off push rod. Give me eight of these, please. Oh, they only cost five bucks, but they're cheap. And they're cheap as hell. Alright, boom. Uh, you know what, I think... Wait, can I just literally just remove the entire engine block, please? I would actually love that. I think I can. Yeah, I definitely can. I know why I couldn't take this off now. The clips. There were clips. Clip B, I hate you. Alright, anyways, two of those. Uh, the distributor cap, the rotor, and the distributor. So the distributor, the rotor. Why? Why is there different caps? Is what I want to know. If I buy the wrong one, I'll just replace it. Well, I'll just buy a new one. All right, and this oil filter, get out. It's amazing that they're just distinct colors for easy, easy removal. Oh boy, this is not going to be fun. So I need serpentine belts. Great. I don't know which serpentine belts I need now, because this game is doo-doo. Uh, for a VAOHV. Alright, well, let's see you on uh, V O G V six. Oh, that's six, six, six. Yeah, that was G even. Where's C though? This right. Uh, that's the A, and then B. And this would be down here. Look at that. See, I'm clever. I know where things are. Are they right though? That's one. I don't know about the other because I can't check it. So, power steering pump, uh, if I just actually pump, I'll get both of those. I think it's the F version, I'm not too sure. It is the F version. <coughs> uh, let's get the F then. And, uh, what is it, a pulley? Uh, I'll need one of those. And then there was one more thing, right? Pretty sure there's one more thing. Oh no, that's literally just what I bought. Okay, good. Good. And then the crankshaft pulley. Uh, yeah, crankshaft pulley. P-U-L-L. For a V-A-O-H-B, I believe. You know, we could do a supercharger one, but obviously this isn't a supercharged engine, and that makes me very sad. Like, extremely sad. Because I love the supercharger thing. Imagine this thing supercharged though, oh boy. Okay, arm bees, I've never done that before, but okay. Um, so what the hell is an arm B? Well, I know what they are, but you know. It's alright, I'll be able to find it. It's, a, it's, not, it's not like it's bright freaking orange now, is it? 
Why is this an alternate an alternator for an inline six? I'm confused. Alternator inline six B. And then this thing arm A. There's so much to do, so much to see. I just don't wanna do this. Well, I do wanna do this. Commentating is hard, okay. <laughs> All right, water pump. Uh, v O G C. <clears throat> um, I'll be able to spot it wherever the hell it is. Where is it? Where is it? I know it's an O G C. Oh. How do I keep forgetting the bright goddamn orange? <laughs> God damn it. Okay, uh, that's part of the engine block, really. Huh. Give me the crankshaft. So the timing cover. Tim. Just put just put Tim. Because Tim deserves to be here now, doesn't he? Timing chain. Um timing. For I think it's that one. I'm not too sure. Uh, OHVF. There it is. That one, please. And then cam gear, and then the camshaft. So to take off the cam gear, to take out the camshaft. And I have to search up the cam. Uh, so, I think it, it's just a normal cam gear, right? I don't know. Oh, well then. I have confused myself, and that makes me sad. So I'll put this one back in real quick. V A O G V. And then I take this out again. O H V C. Crankshaft. Uh, I mean, what the hell is a crankshaft? You know, I don't know. Well, actually, I do know. I'm just stupid. Let me take off the clutch. Yeah, this is really this is legit a floating. Okay, I thought it was a floating engine, but it's not. I have been deceived. Um, oh, I took off that many pieces, I don't have any space. Oh, well, who's ready to sell some useless parts? Like, these. You know what? Anything under 50% can be gone. Look how much money you got. Look in the top right. 2,500, just from selling broken parts. Easy. And I'm still fixing the engine, right? Uh, I can't remember what I bought now. Uh, help me please. Oh, I just went off the menu. Hold on. It was so what? Uh, no, I'm not gonna save myself some time and just putting C U L, uh, C L U even. Turns out I have bought nothing. Sorry, clutch plate, pressure plate, and the bearing. And I forgot to buy the flywheel. Of course I did. And flywheel. So that's the... That's all that. Obviously we can't take that out because we need to take out the pistons. Uh, which if we just... No, don't, no. Engine stand. Rotate engine. Rotate engine. Look at that. I'm clever. <laughs> I'm very clever. You know this. No one knows this. I'm actually an idiot. So what? Two rod caps. That's four rod caps. I need to focus on this, or there might not be that much commentary. But four.
five. Oh wait, what? Yeah, no, I don't know. Six. Say home. Uh, have I missed one? I feel like I have. I'm not too sure. Ah, I'll just buy eight. Why not, right? And what caps? So. Oh, there's a lot of things if you just search in arrow, but none of them are rod caps, apparently. I shall just buy eight. Simple enough, right? Okay, so I need to buy the pest and stuff. So obviously if it's a V8, there's going to be eight of these boys. Eight of these massive Conrad lads. And then we're just searching piston. Simple enough. Actually, you know what? Uh, oh wait, no, it's not here. Okay, I thought it was. And then piston rings. I need eight. Those are, those are just normals. It's amazing how expensive a piston can be. Like, eight bucks, Jesus. And then the crankshaft bearing. Is it really only three? That is amazing how how little there is even this giant thing of voice. Um, so I need the crankshaft. Uh, so three of those, and a can a crankshaft that I don't know. V eight or two C. Where is you? There she is. And then unmount engine block. There we go. V eight or two C. Uh, so if I just search in V eight and all, oh Jesus Christ! Oh, there it is. See, if it's bright orange, you know it's part of this thing. So that is the entire car strips. Thank you for watching the stream and on the video. I will see you tomorrow with a new video of me well, rebuilding this giant monster of a vehicle. And then doing a few laps around the racetrack. That will be tomorrow though, so you guys can hopefully wait till then. Uh, see ya. So, yeah, just have, a, just have fun. Subscribe if you want to see more, like, whatever. And definitely see you take guys tomorrow. Have fun. Subscribe if you want to see more, like, whatever. And...